Day to day, I have a lot of different clients in a lot of different genres of music that come in. So I needed a system that wasn't gonna impart tone where I didn't want it. The Dangerous Gear is transparent when you want it to be, but also gives you tone and texture when you need it. We live in a, in a time of great difficulty in the music industry where the means of distribution are changing, the manner in which we capture the, the music is evolving. But if you're gonna survive in that environment, you need the right tools. My Dangerous System allow me to make music better on every song, every record, every minute in the studio. We added the Dangerous 2 Bus Plus and one of the things we noticed right away was this enhanced stereo width. It had this sort of three-dimensionality to it. It seemed like all of a sudden there was all this much more space. There was all this stuff out here on the sides that I can now access that I couldn't before. What I like about the Bax EQ is that you can get the low end right and it feels like it's part of the instrument. It doesn't add too much color. That was a major turning point for me when I got the DAC ST with the monitor ST. In comparison to my old monitor controller, it was like night and day. There was the clarity, the punch, um, the definition. I felt like I had a brand new studio again. My compressor is a dangerous compressor, always with a sidechain back CQ in. My second back CQ is my final stage, my final opportunity to shape or reshape my mix before I hit my AD+. Having six options on the liaison at a button push is awesome because let's face it a lot of people aren't gonna take the time to like go behind the rack and unplug this and reroute that and do that and then come back over and listen to it and is that better I don't know I can just sit here and like push a button is that better yes as a hybrid mixer I love how the dangerous system lets me incorporate plugins and all of my outboard gear through my various routing and the conversion is really one of the reasons you love it in the first place I mean it's very clear huge stereo image, transients all captured in there, which is really great and makes everything else in the Dangerous System really shine. So undoubtedly the Convert 8 brought the uh, realism of that performance and the picture of that bass to life in a way that spoke to the listener and to the Grammy voters. It has changed literally, you know, the way that we make records. It changes the way you do everything. It changes the way you, you process audio in the box because you're hearing it. I mean, this, this thing definitely has its own level of, of glue, and in the end, the result is better than what we had before, for sure. The changes were not subtle. Dog ears were not required. You can get closer to the performance and closer to the emotion of the music. I was better informed about what was going on inside my mix, and as a result, my mixes got better. They were bigger, badder, punchier, wider, more exciting. Hearing that increased depth from the transients and, and the high frequency detail really helped us get the mixes where we wanted them to be. Sonically, my Danger System allow me to have my own sound, retain the sound, and grow with that standard. Dangerous music has always helped me get the sound in my head onto records, whether it's amazing high-end from the stereo EQ, great routing from the liaison, or a whole fantastic stereo capture from the Convert 80 Plus. I'm able to take my ideas all the way to the final record and give them to my clients. My clients come back to me and they're really proud of the mixes they're getting, and I owe a lot of that to the Dangerous Gear.